What's happening, everybody? It's King Bravery here, back with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, this episode is going to be the first of uh, many, well, depends on, I don't know how many we're going to do, but uh, several uh, long episodes of Red Dead Redemption 2. I, I've meant, I'm going to be honest, I forgot how long this game really is, and I, as much as I enjoyed this game, and I love the adventures we got going with Arthur Morgan here, uh, I do want to get, wrap this game up, I should get off the train tracks, uh, I should wrap this game up, and, uh, cause I, there's other games I want to start playing, but, uh, yeah, this game's, it's, and there's still a lot of game left, so we gotta get through all of that. Um, oh, another thing, too, before I forget, so, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna play the epilogue of this game, but if you guys want me to play the epilogue, let me know in the comments down below. If people want me to play the epilogue, I'll do it. Uh, if not, I'll leave it at that. Maybe one day I'll come back to it later. Um, I'm just kind of getting at the point where, like, as much, again, as much as I love this game, I need a break from it. I wanna play other games, man. Um, and then, yeah. It's so also the reason I stopped uploading Starfield. Um, mainly because like I was having a I was having a good time playing it. I do enjoy it But like it's very resource grindy and like again. I don't mind that kind of gameplay I really enjoy it, but uh, it's it's hard to make that like enjoyable content when it's like after every mission I do I got to go to another planet and spend 30 minutes mining aluminum. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's just It's it's hard to make like content for it and you know what I mean just having the time to record all of that so um, unfortunately, that's why I have to stop playing. Um, maybe I'll go back sometime to maybe with mods, maybe, and mess around. We'll see. Not 100% sure. But, back to Red Dead. We got a mission here with, uh, Trelawney. So, uh, let's see what this, uh, guy's got for us. Hello, dear boy. I am the dear boy. get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Ah, okay. Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. All right. We're dressing or Morgan back up again. All right. After the uh, Saint-Denis garden party. Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman the Whitmore. All right, let's see what this looks like on me. Ah, okay. It's you, you still look kind of out of place there, Morgan, with uh, your massive uh, homeless man beard. But hey, we'll make it work. Um, oh, it's free. Oh, is Trelawney paying for me? Aw, what a sweetheart. All right, well, let's get on going here. Oh, now I gotta go to the barber? You know what? Maybe I should shave his beard, actually. We've been doing this for a while. Oh, Herr Strauss, that Malacca. I am. Everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. Okay. You think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, man. A lot of these what ifs, man. Like, this is. We both know this is just the kind of. After all the mishaps we've had recently, like, we can't, like, we're getting reckless, man, it seems like. Well, I hope so. Alright. Well, anyway, let's, uh, let's get me fixed up here. Again, I, maybe I will, I think I will shave his beard. We'll, uh, give him a new look. All right, let's do deal with the facial here. All right, extra clean shave. Let's go with just a clean. Or right, hang on, yeah, let's go with the clean shave. Let's go with that. Yeah, you're looking like a new man there, Arthur. All right, let's cut that hair back. There we go. All right, looking nice and cut there. No pun intended. All right. 
This look, Arthur, man, it just feels weird seeing Arthur like this, especially without his hat. <laughs> I can't deny it. looks very odd. Some transportation. All right, let's get on. Let's get on there and uh, play some poker. I think we're playing, I don't know, maybe we're playing blackjack. I don't fucking know what we're doing. Grand Corrigan, sir. Quite literally. This is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win it up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. Yeah. You're a fresh oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me. I mean, didn't we see Leviticus Cornwall have his own horse? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he had a horse on him. I could be wrong, but I think he did. Ah, okay. It's a man called Desmond Fly made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. Okay. So, if Strauss is sitting <clears throat> behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. Yeah. All the authors one good fortune. He'll make hmm. sure you get the right cards. Oh, well, he better. What could possibly go wrong? Yep. Indeed. All right. Is that the boat there? Oh, wait, no. That's a building, is it not? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Here's a fruit fly that keeps flying by my fucking ring light, man. Distracting. God damn it. Yes. Yeah, that's a big fruit fly too. What the fuck, man? Oh man, if he stays there, this is gonna be a long couple hours. Okay, I don't know if I got him, but I don't see him anymore. Watch him show up like two seconds later. <laughs> Bastard. Hello. This pair of boys we met in New York. Come on, Champagne is on dear old All right. Hello, Strauss. Hello, Javier. Than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. All right. That guy's got a gun. Come on. Come on. Let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. All right. All right. So they're going to frisk me, I guess. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. All right, I don't have any. What? That was a weird ab and abrupt cut. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Uh, I don't think so. But don't lose too much money, or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. All right, whatever you say. Knows the hands that will be dealt. Follows instructions while playing poker. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know how to play poker. <laughs> I actually don't. I don't know what kind of hands I'm supposed to use. I don't, or what even like uh, what each hand means. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. Callahan. Unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Hmm. Look at this. Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. All right. Join already. We aim to please, sir. I don't know how to play poker. Strauss. Ah, uh, fold. He's saying no. I guess I got to fold. I guess I'm gonna fold, okay. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see All right. The hell with it. Here we go then. I don't know what these numbers mean, man. These cards, I mean. 
I don't play poker. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Mr. Blyde wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Is it? Yes. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Hmm. Likewise, Mr. Blyde. Also, so excuse if you hear my dog's bones grinding upstairs. They're playing with bones. I'm an oil man. On a hardwood floor, nothing I can do about it. Sorry. All right, two queens, pair of queens. I think pair of que pair of queens. Oh, I do have pair. Of, uh, it literally says it right there. So it's something you need me to keep betting. Okay. Raise the stakes. Let's raise it. All right, he's putting down the cards. Okay, I don't know what this means. Oh, you are, huh? All right, I guess I'll call. Auto bet. I'm gonna call. Interesting. Pair cowgirls. What does he have? I don't know if I won this card. Oh, I did win this card. I won. You done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. Mm -hmm. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. Oh. Safe. Upstairs, it's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play, as mm. you. Can. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Maybe. Of course, we've crossed paths. I'll All right. Enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Hmm. My cards. I have a pair of kings. <laughs> Already? What the fuck? Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Take your turn. I guess I'm going all in too. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Ah, uh, okay. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God. Damn you! Mm. No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. <laughs> Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Sure. Let's go. Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course. Ah. Yeah, the new guy. <laughs> yeah. Come with me, sir. I totally don't know that guy. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. Mm-hmm. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <clears throat> <laughs> we live so, in strange times. Strange times and everyone needs a job. I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got Johnny down there. How did he sneak? Wait, how did he sneak that in? What? Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Oh my God! I know, I know. The time that this game plays takes place in, Jesus Christ! They make it. They really make it known. Oh, what better be? Yep. Okay. In here, I guess. He said he has it in a safe. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Yep. <clears throat> Don't 
Don't reach for that gun. Fucking fruit flies, man. Gun, Arthur. All right, I'll take it. Give me that gun. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> All right. So I gotta loot this. Oh, here, loot it, loot it. Okay. Oh, right there, button. Oh, was I supposed to disarm him for good honor or not? We should have made sure he had nothing else on him. Alright. Let's go. Meet the others. Let's go. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. Yep. If we're lucky. Oh boy. Yeah, we should have man, why didn't we not check what else he had? Alright, let's keep going. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Yep. Don't garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. <laughs> nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. For sure. Act natural. Into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor. Hmm. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all right. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. Hello? There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Uh oh. Come on, Arthur. Yep. Shit went to south. Going. Oh, Jesus, Javier. Get the hell out of my way, bro! Alright, they gave me a Lancaster repeater. Oh! Freaking Strauss just knocked that guy out. Good job, man! Good job, Strauss! Alright. Yeah, we do. Oh, what the fuck? There's a guy behind me? What? Well, hey, I'm getting shot at, man! I'm coming, but I'm getting shot at, man! Alright, yeah, let's go. We'll be fine. All right, let's go. Thank God John's not here. Uh-oh. Oh, looks like we made it out. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah. yeah. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. And it's, man, that's a waterproof jacket. Jesus yes, Christ. Indeed. All that money is dry. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss of... Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, give it back. We don't tr untrust you with that, uh, with that watch there, Strauss. All right, well, it looks like we got a good take, I guess. All right, back in Saint Denis. All right, I guess we are. And I got my guns back. Total take. Oh, I am... Ooh. I got so much money. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do next... Um, there's a, the Dutch mission over here. What is this one? Ah, whatever. I'm going to go buy a, another... Uh, what kind of the M1899 pistol to, go, to replace the Volcanic pistol? Because uh, the volcanic pistol, the rate of fire is not great on it. Um, 
It's much better on the Volcanic Pistol. Or not the Volcanic Pistol. The uh, M1899. So I'm going to quickly save my game. and I'm going to head to that gun store and I'm going to get another pistol going. Oh yeah, that's looking nice right there. Alright. Um, I wonder if there's any other new weapons I got though. Now that we got the pistol. Um, rolling block rifle. Carcoli mm, rifle or whatever that was. That was a, like the big sniper I think. Um, yeah, no, nothing really I want right now. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's get out here and we'll swap out our my pistols. All right, so that's the, uh, the one I just got. And then that's my old one. All right, cool. Nice. That's what I like to see. All right, so... Now that I got that going, we got to go see Dutch over yonder over here. All right, so Dutch is hanging out over here somewhere, I think. I don't know where. I don't want a pamphlet. See in the alleyway? How? Where the hell is Dutch? All right, can my horse open this gate? Oh, it can. Cool. All right. Oh, what the fuck? How, where is Dutch? Is he not back here? What the fuck? Is he down over here? Oh, okay, must be down over here. Okay. Oh, okay. Or oh, okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, Morgan? Wait, wait, wait. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What the fuck? I did not see any. Oh my god, game. What the fuck? What was Arthur doing? How do I leave the mission? All right, here we go. Here we go. There we go. I, I just loaded my game and uh, because I couldn't figure out how to restart the mission from there. All right, Dutch and Lenny. Days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the mm. hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. Yep. So we are going to rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Mm. Ronte said this place has got money. Come on. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. All right. Behave Guess we're doing this. And none of you will die. Annoy me. And you All right. Give me the money. We just want money. Don't make us kill you. All right. All right. I guess I gotta rob them and uh, lose some honor. That's your choice. Not mine. Thank you. Wise choice. Open that gate. We only took like we're only getting like seventy set like like not even dollars from them. Hmm. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. Uh oh. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M. Come on. We'll do. Open it. Yeah. Come on. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. All right. I'll loot it. Doesn't look like a huge take, though. That's for sure. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Uh oh. Oh, that is a lot. Greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. Yep. Like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. We're gonna use the trolley to get out of here. All right, let's go. 
My connection to the social club services has been lost. I am weeping with tears of anguish. All right. All right, get him, get him. Oh, God damn it! I'm only hitting that pole. Man, good thing I got these pistols, man. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? They're, they keep spawning, like, right when they're close to us. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Slow it down. Slow this thing down. I'll try. I don't know if I can, man. I, I, okay, I'm trying. It's busted. The thing's broke. Uh. Hold on. Oh boy. Oh shit. Whoa, boy. Another happy landing. Don't worry, we're still flying half a trolley. All right. How the hell are we gonna get out of this? I didn't bring any of my rifles, I just realized. Jesus Christ! Oh, Dutch, you okay? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh my god, there is so much going on. Thank god for these new dual pistols, though. Alright, follow Lenny, I guess. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Why did, are you stopping, Arthur? I'm going. Arthur just doesn't want to fucking move. Sure. Oh, jeez. Let's go. Oh shit! He's following us! Oh my god, there's so many of them! What? How are you not dead? God damn it! I see him! Oh! Jesus Christ. Oh, what the fu- Die! God damn it. Jesus Christ. Oh, innocents, don't shoot those guys. Shoot that guy. All right. Whoa. God damn it. Oh, I see you. Did I shoot a civil- I think I just shot a civilian. I just lost some honor. Oh, boy. And, oh, wait, what? I have no ammo. What? Oh, and I don't have my pistol or my, uh... I don't have my rifles. Oh, no. I need to pick up something. Guys, I have no ammo. Okay, carbine repeater. It's got a lot of ammo. It's pretty worn, but hey, it'll allow us to keep shooting and fighting out of this. I did not realize my ammo would go by that quick if I just used those pistols. Oh my god. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I panicked a tiny bit there. Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh, I took his hat off. Die! Jesus! Oh, that stupid post. Come on! I really should have brought my rifles with me. Uh oh. Why can't I? Did what the hell? It wouldn't let me target him. God damn it. I see him. All right, I think we got these guys. Oh my goodness. How the fuck are we gonna get out of here, man? Oh, let's go, let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, there we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go, we got it. All right. All right, oh, there we go. We're almost out of Saint Denis. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Lenny. Uh oh, I see a barricade. Damn! They blocked the road. Hold on. Use this. Uh oh. Dutch, what are you doing? Uh, to okay. Ah, that'll do it. That's one hell of a shot. <laughs> All right. You see any more? Just when firing, although any targets locked. Okay. 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 Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. All right. Let's get home. Oh man, that really went south quick. That's what we get for trusting Angelo Bronte. That's what we get. We're too eager to leave this place. Really, we should have. What we should have done was get the fuck out of here. Move a bit farther away. I think we're clear. Farther north, maybe. Get away from. Put you know distance what, between Chris? us. We it's can't rush time. things. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got fifteen dollars. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. Obviously. <laughs> Me, like a yokel. Put the law on us? What do we do to him? What did I do to him? We burnt the freaking elk. The yes, he thinks he's the king around here. Well, we took I out the alcohol business. The moonshine. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, All right. You did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Lenny did really good. He's he's the young gun, man. All right, we did not get a lot from that. Oh man. Also. I don't want this the stupid rifle anymore. Fuck this rifle. Also, what's going to be the next mission, I guess? And, oh, we got a... Uh, that's a big bounty. God damn it. All right, what's this one here? Uh, needs to speak with me. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, that don't look good. All right, well... I'm going to go clear off my bounty quickly, and then I'm going to go back to camp and uh, speak with Dutch. All right, so I just got back to the camp, and I just noticed there's a mission here with Micah and Bill. Now, as much as I don't like Micah, I do want to see what kind... Like, we haven't had a mission with him in a while. As much as I don't like him, I do feel like we got to start mixing it up here with the characters around. All right. So, let's go see what Micah has for us. What you doing here, Micah? Come here, Arthur. What do you want? 
Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Yep. Okay. Sunshine's my middle name, boy. What do you want, Micah? What do you want? Well, I, I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. No, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. <coughs> Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. All right. Yeah, Bill, this is a death sentence. There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamp. North All right. You got an actual plan this time? Oh, I didn't mean to eat some peaches. You got an actual plan? Yeah, do you? I got three sticks of dynamite. I got two pistols. I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? No. Not really. So, well, who go. told you about this? <laughs> Please tell me I'm one little Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in the road. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're yeah, proof of that. <laughs> Charm. And a little money. Mm hmm. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boat accident see i don't like leaving trails unlike the rest of you jesus christ you mean by that? you're a you psychopath that's what he means right to us. we're carrying too much dead weight we need to be leaner so we can move faster quieter i prefer a tight crew just five or six strong gunmen well nobody's stopping you there's a whole world out there Go find the strong man you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos for better or for worse at this point. Oh, man. To bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move mm. Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. Oh my god, this is... This, yeah, you. Everyone knows. Like this is just gonna end in disaster. Hell no. Jesus Christ! Is it too much to ask? Considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in. Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, uh, that's different. See, uh, uh, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's oh, my God. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You're a bastard, Micah. Here we are. Bright, bold bastard. All right. Up here. All right, well, let's bring out the bolt action. And then which repeater should I go with? Oof, the Lancaster needs to get uh, fixed up a bit. All right, so what do I got to do? Follow Micah?
Guess I get up, get off my horse, I suppose. I'll set them in the road over here so he can blow it if it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. We'll okay. You take the other side. All right. You do your thing, Micah. Man, like, I already, look, I already know what happens at the end of this game. But, like, man, just, and I'm sure most of the people watching know what happens in this game. But for those who don't, I'm, it's, it's hard to keep quiet because I know what happens. But, goddamn, if you guys know, I've been talking shit about Micah this whole game. And there's a fucking reason for that. He is a bastard. I think you might want to hurry, Micah. I think, I see him. As it rolls over it. And BAM! Okay, I don't know if I... Oh, that guy does have a gun. He's gonna try and shoot me. I wasn't sure if that was like an innocent or not. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got more of them coming this way. Come on. Oh. Oh man, I I think I shot a horse. I think that's why I just lost some honor. Because I got the lead on how much we get, Cowpoke. Enough. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight, or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right, better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Mm-hmm. All right, horse, horse. Okay, we got to go before the law gets here. Okay, then, girl. All right, I did not see how much I got from that take. Uh, but we are going to go back to Dutch now. All right, let's make sure we just leave this area first before any lawmen arrive. Yeah, no, I think we, yeah, we're, we should be pretty much in the clear now. All right, I'm going to quickly save the game. After uh, the game froze on me in the last episode, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Back to my subnautica tendencies now with saving all the time. Of course, in that game, I wasn't saving because I was scared of the game crashing. I was just saving because I was scared in general, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, man. Low-key, man. Like, ugh. I, that game terrifies me. I never want to play it again, but part of me really wants to go back and play it. And uh, I do plan on one day going and uh, playing Subnautica Below Zero. I, I, it's definitely going to happen one day. When? I don't know. Um, I don't know how if that's going to be soon or if that's going to be later down the line. These fucking fruit flies... I li don't know why these things literally disappeared today. There's like nothing they could be feeding on. So I got to figure that out. Oh my God. They're going to make it a long recording. Um, but yeah, no, it's like, I again, I have no idea when I'm going to play. If it's going to be sooner or later. Because uh, there are other games I want to play too. I do want to play um, Bioshock 2 and eventually Bioshock Infinite. Um, and there's other games too. Like the I know for sure the next game I want to play after this, I want to play Baldur's Gate 3. Because I actually, um, so a little talk here about my history with the game. I played it about two years ago when it was at, still in early access. And I enjoyed it. The game was pretty hard, but I enjoyed it. Um, I was a little put off though, because at the time when I played the game, my favorite D&D &D class, the Paladin, was not in the game yet. So uh, I played as a Warlock um, at the time. But uh, yeah, no, once I'm done with Red Dead 2, I'm going to be moving on to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I do also plan on um, playing some more games with uh, with Christian and uh, hopefully the Seamus is too. Um, I definitely want to have more Phasmophobia coming your way. I, f I think Phasmophobia is always it's always fun to play it and it's always uh, it um, it's always good for good content that game. And we're I also want to play other games too. I'm not sure what else uh, we could be playing. I know Seamus and Isaac um, they know they wanted me to play Tory Bash. Um, which I do have the game, but we've never got the time to uh, actually get into uh, playing it together. 
But uh, it's just, like I said, it's on the list of games I want to be playing with them. So it's definitely, once Red Dead's done, guys, things are going to be happening. Why can't I save my game? What is going on here? Okay. All right, let's get in camp and save my game. I see Dutch. He's at the very top there. I got to go upstairs. All right, I'm going to save my game, and I'm going to make my way up there and see what's up. Arthur, come up here. I'm on my way. All right, Dutch, what you want? What you need? What you got for me? There is a crocodile in the mission uh, header thing. Get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Seems like it. Don't mean shit to me. This Sounds like he does. We are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. You just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. Mm. Damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Yeah, you better. Even though I know he's not. And usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Yep. Doubting, Arthur, it does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's, uh, a boat, yeah. Oh, I know where that is. Hey, John. Okay. I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. All right, well, sure you do, Dutch. All right, let's get going to the settlement. Lagrasse, I think he said. Right. I'm right behind you. All right, man, we're going to go there, go to Swamp, fight some gators. We're going to wrestle some gators or what? what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Mm. Oh, neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. He I did. Understand. Yep, that's He's true. Yeah, we, we're just adding to that pot, man. Forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes. Now, let me bring up my uh, bolt Teach action. People a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. Oh, there we go. There it is. To make a future for us. I know, but 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 when did you become so small minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. Mm -hmm. So either we're in this together, working together to get out. Together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality. 
I apologize if you guys can hear my dogs. They're going ape shit upstairs right now. Yeah, that's true. They did. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that? Yeah, you have, Dutch. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Sure. All right. I guess I should holster him again. All right. Speak with Thomas. Was Thomas. Thomas. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Ooh, we're going to check out some swamp traps. All right. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number of big ones. Hmm. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, surely. Prehistoric reptiles scare the fuck out of me. Meet your match when it comes to a... An aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. Mm. This way. Come on, this Throwing way. slight oh, jabs at me there, Dutch. I see you, bastard. After all I've done for you. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. There's dead bodies on the map there. What is going on? A couple of crayfish traps up ahead. All right, I guess we gotta check the traps. Or no, I guess I gotta follow him still first. Oh, I saw that. Well, I'm there with you. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Yeah, I'm checking. Nada. That's a big snake right there. Holy shit. A few more set over this way. Come on. All right. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Hmm. All right. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Well, I'm following you. Don't you worry. You can see why Swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except the gators. Except for the night folks sometimes. Oh, yeah. We haven't encountered really much of those guys yet. Oh, I forgot the night folk are a thing in this game. Well, this just gets better and better. All right. Well, I forgot. Yeah, we got to deal with some night folk. Some uh, swamp motherfuckers. All right. God damn, this water is deep. Oh my god. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Ooh. Hey. Hell nah. Hell nah. Hell no. Okay. He's. I'm sure he's dead at this point, man. Hate to say, but I think your friend's g goner. He's gone dead and shit. And oh no, that's a huge drop off right there, man. Oof. Oh god, this is nasty. 
Nasty water. Oh, man. More swamp water, man. Oh, the stank juice. Oh. It's all stanky in here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh. Alright. Heave ho! Oof. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. That must have been from a big gator. There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Ooh. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I, I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gotta go, man. There's a big old gator around here. We don't want to stick around and find out, you know, what's what with this asshole. Hold up. Hello? Oh. Fuck that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's, it, it's both, I suppose, is what he means. So, uh, yeah, don't get eaten by them. All right. God damn, man. Why do people... Why would you do... Man, no, my God. Oh, man, don't... Sp Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons, man? You don't split the party. I'm pulling, I'm keeping my pee still out. Whoa. Why was there a big wave? We got herons over there. I hear a gator. Growling around. Oh boy. Ooh. All right, almost at the dry land. All right, just keep keep an eye out. I can hear an, a gator snapping somewhere. I just don't see one I'm in my sight yet. Oh. Uh, cra cra crayfish hole, I think this is. Hello? Ooh. Oh, we gotta get back in the water. Shit. Uh-oh. Alright, guys. Time to drink some more swamp water! Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Dude, my gun's gonna get so dirty. I literally just cleaned my gun right before this mission, too. I literally just cleaned it. What was that? Whoa. Oh, that was a boar. Okay. I didn't mean to shoot. Oof. Hey, someone there? Come on, Jules. Where are you at, man? Where are you at? Where are you hiding? Oof. Where's this homie at? Where the hell is he? Like, I'm pretty Hello? deep in the area where... Hello? That must be him. Hello? I'm coming. I'm coming, don't worry. Are you hiding in a tree? In the 
the fuck? In the tree. I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh, wait. Oh! Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? He's up there. A monster. A monster. Uh oh. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Massive and nearly ate me. Where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Nothing mm -mm. the boat chased me over here. You must be Jew. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... It's literally right. It was right there, Arthur. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. I don't know. I got the scale. It's over here. All right. Let's move this thing. Stop. All right, safety in numbers. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. All right. He didn't destroy the boat. He just knocked it over, I guess. All right. Well, glad to be out of there. Yep. We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. <laughs> what you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stone. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Me? Yeah, just do it. We'll take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. Oh no. You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got you crack gun slingers here with the guns loaded. Dude, you do realize that like they can submerge themselves underwater. Oh man. Put your back into it. Uh oh. Yeah, man. Shit. He won't kill. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? Quick. Hurry, Arthur. Get out. Oh. Arthur, go. Why aren't you going? I was, I'm trying. Oh my god, he is so far out. Oh no. Oh man. Oh shit. What the fuck? I don't know where he went. Oh! I got you, boy. Alright, don't you go dying on me. Oh, you are bloody. Oh, yeah. My stamina core. I'm going. My stamina core, though. Oh boy. Oh, 
Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh boy, why can't I target him? Oh my God, this thing is huge. I think he's going, shit, that is one big old gate. Boy, yeah. Look too good there. Here, take this, try to stop the bleeding. Jesus Christ. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You gotta go fast, I guess. I thought I had to go slow and find a sweet spot. Ooh. Yep. I stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. Oh boy. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Oh no, he's back. God damn it. How much pit I don't know how it doesn't even say how much pit I can't even target him. My dead eye is pretty much gone at this point. I guess it says I have infinite ammo at the top there. I guess. Okay. I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus, can we get back now? Uh, uh, uh. Gonna be okay, kid. Yep. Aww. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and mad. That's unusual. Normally, the little ones angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Art. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Yeah. Oh my god. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. <clears throat> uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Find you. You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. Sure thing, Dutcher Rooney. <clears throat> Old Bronte, a bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll mm -hmm. see you soon. You be safe. Sure thing. Well. Wow. All right. So we're skipping time ahead, I guess. Ah, I got my camp going. Cool. All right. Country pursuits. All right, let's check them out. Because I think now we can go after that gator, at least. I think. I think it's, I think it's now available on the map i think maybe because i know we can hunt that gator as like a uh it's like one of the legendary beasts but we don't unlock it until like that after that mission i think or at least that's what i thought i don't see it him on here it's supposed to be around here i think by lagrass but i don't know maybe i was mistaken all right oh i don't see any missions that's coming up on the map yet so maybe wait for it to spawn in there's a dutch mission okay i'm actually gonna quickly um craft some food and replenish some of my cores before we move on and then once i do that i'll figure out what we're gonna do next okay i don't think i see the gator the big gator on the map um unless it's like right in front of my face but we can go back to la Grasse and uh do that mission with dutch which i'm assuming that's where we're gonna finally uh fuck up angelo bronte for his uh his treachery and his uh 
dastardly ways. All right, so I'm gonna make my way over there. Also, why did we make camp so far away from the fucking Legrasse? All right, well, um, I'll meet you guys. Oh my God, what the fuck was that? I'll meet you guys when I get there. All right, so I was planning on recording a lot longer, but I think once I do this mission, I'm gonna have to hop off here. My Wi-Fi just went out and everyone in the household <laughs> texting me up saying, where is the Wi-Fi? Cause I'm the only one, cause the Wi-Fi is in my name. So when it's in my name, I'm the one expected to figure that shit out when it goes down. So uh, once we, we'll do this mission and then we'll end the, the uh, episode here. I've been recording for about an hour and 20, so I mean, it's still a decent amount of time I've recorded for. Um, I definitely would have liked to record for a lot longer. I also wanted to bring my bow. Why do you have that? What the fuck? That is not what I had on me. All right. Also, what's up, boy? All right. All right, let's scale that down. Mr. Bronte. Mr. Cornwall. There you are. Ruin the Come West. On. Revenge is Let's a dish going. best Ready eaten. Mm-hmm. All right. So what do we got with us? We got uh I, I saw <laughs> hey, Bill, you know, John. You sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When Lenny? You there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch them out there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind is too small to comprehend what you saw. Oh my what god, you saw Dutch. Was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leave and love aside. Uh, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. He just coughed. Ooh. <laughs> oi. Yo, 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 yo. Pick us up, young. I got you. Yep. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Yep. Quieter down. All right. Got my. Okay, I got my stuff I need with me. Good. All right, let's go, boys. All right. Meet with the gang at the mansion. There's a gun over there. What gun is that? You're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, mm -hmm. let's go. Right behind you. I'm going to pull out my bow just in case we uh, need to, to quietly take someone out. And I also got my rifle and my pistols in case things go south and we got to go in loud. I guess I'll follow John. You seem to be better at the stealth shit than I was when we went into that graveyard. I'm right behind you, man, though. Why, why why did you stand up? All right. Oh, so we got to go in loud with this? What? We're going in loud. Uh-oh. Oh, I missed. What the I couldn't see the bush was in my way. Oh, well. That seemed to do the job anyway. Arthur or John, get out of my way. Oof. Yeah, take those men. All right. God damn it. 
Ooh, right in his fucking noggin. Oh boy. Nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. So much going on here. Yep, let's keep going. All right, let's kick this shit in. Oh. What the fuck? Kick it. What, what are you doing? I'm doing it. Oh, so why? I don't. Why did you give me a double barrel? Like, Dutch, I want my. <laughs> I want my rifle back, man. Uh oh. Alright, got here. Oh. Damn. Oh man, it's it's so cool hearing uh Rob Waithwaite sh just shouting. Leave John alone, you dick. Oh shit. Let's spread out. He's hiding somewhere. Oh, he sure is hiding. Alright, loot stranger. I'll loot him. Maybe they have some valuables on them. You never know. He actually does have some money on him, but we don't have time to waste, so we gotta go find Bronte. Ooh. Hey, handsome. <laughs> hey. Bye 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 bang. <laughs> Alright, enough distractions. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where the fuck is the exit to this fucking room? Okay, I guess we gotta go up here. Oh! Jesus Christ. Dude, this, these pistols are... They wreck shit, man. Hmm... Not in here. All right. Cover to cover. Can I, like, not kick this door down? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Mm. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Did you kill him? Nah, just take him to die. Yeah. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Oh, he's got a Mauser. I'll take your Mauser pistol, man. Hang on. How do I pick it up? All right, there we go. All right, Mauser. I got a free Mauser. Cool. Let's see what he has on him, by the way, before we take him out. And oh, he had some money. Of course he would have. I mean, he's a big man, Bronte. Oh, I hear. Uh, I hear whistling outside. Oh, god damn it! All right, follow Dutch. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Arthur, get a move on. I'm coming. What the fuck? I don't, man, I don't even know if I was shooting anything well there. I think I was just shooting at whatever I saw and shooting at nothing. Ooh, Jesus. All right, let's go. Let's go. There's like one guy left. Where's he at? Oh. There's a guy behind us. What the fuck? I saw it on the map. All right, I'm coming. You guys got to protect me. I'm the one with Bronte. Guys, he's right there. Why can't you shoot him? Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Dutch. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Put him in front. All right. 
got him. Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pussy. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> mm. When the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country, you... You, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. Hmm. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, they are good. That smell and filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed of! Oh. Your friends, the Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you? You oh. repulsive little maggot! Oh. 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 Oof. Call them now! You call them! Oh shit. Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Oof. Callback quote to the first game. <laughs> I love that. But goddamn, man. Dutch, he's he's losing. He's losing his plot, man. John already seen it. But Arthur is he it's really hitting him now. Like Arthur's been seeing it too, but not to the extent du John has has been, but he's seeing it now, man. Oh man. Revenge is a dish best served eaten. All right. So what's that next mission he wants us to do? We are wanted men. $95 is all we are wanted for. Okay. So it's that mission. All right. I would keep playing, but like I said, I got to go figure out stuff going on with the Wi Fi in the household. Um, I have been recording for quite a while anyway, but. We got a lot done today, which I am proud of. We will get Red Dead Redemption done soon. And like I said, guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to play the epilogue of the game once I get there. Because um, like I said, if not, like, and if even if I do play, I might take a break for a little bit from Red Dead to play some other games and then uh, come back and do it in like maybe one big or, or two episodes, maybe. We'll see. Not 100% sure yet, but... That is going to be the end of the video there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And that comment in the comment section down below. Let me know about the epilogue. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new video. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.